and five, many of the largest baby food makers are seeking a total of more than half a million dollars in costs from a nine-year-old child with autism. And the companies asked a Los Angeles judge to order the boy to pay after his case against them over toxic heavy metals in their baby food failed. Our senior investigative reporter Lisa Fletcher has been one of the leading reporters on this issue for years and has the details on this case revolving around the family she first introduced us to two years ago. The Cantabrana family, on behalf of their young son Noah, brought the groundbreaking lawsuit against baby food makers, claiming that they knowingly had toxic heavy metals in their products. We interviewed mom Melissa in 2022 as they prepared to make their case in court that these toxins triggered Noah's autism. My son is Noah. He just turned eight. Um, he is amazing. <laughs> he is so cute. Um, he's got curly hair and he is very silly. That curly haired little boy is now nine and the target of multinational companies seeking more than $600,000 after Noah's case was dismissed. Just think about that for a second. It's a nine-year-old child with autism. This is frankly disgusting. Pedro Misfandieri represents Noah and other children whose cases are moving forward, allegedly exposed to toxic heavy metals in baby food like lead, arsenic, and mercury. The defendants in Noah's case were seven of the world's largest baby food makers, Walmart, Beechnut, Gerber, Haines Celestial, Earth's Best, Sprout Organics, Plum Organics, and Nurture Happy Family. Every one of those companies, except Gerber, is going after Noah. There's no label on there that says, hey, this has really high levels of lead, mercury, cadmium, uh, arsenic. Come on, arsenic in baby food? They need to be held responsible for this. Now the companies trying to hold Noah responsible for costs say in their court brief, the request is reasonable and that whether costs are properly assessed does not depend upon the identity of the plaintiff or the defendant, as plaintiff asserts. Plaintiff decided to initiate a lawsuit, and when he did not prevail, he became responsible for each category of recoverable costs as a matter of law. Noah's attorney is asking the judge to throw out the baby food maker's request, stating defendants, large, wealthy, multinational corporations, seek to burden a nine-year-old child suffering from neurodevelopmental disorders with $636,731.91 in litigation costs. Defendants' gambit is not only unseemly, but contrary to law, fairness, and common sense. I urge everyone, contact these companies, put pressure on them to abandon this attempt to destroy a young man's life. We contacted the companies asking the court to order Noah to pay the $600,000. Both Beechnut and Nurture told us that it is typical for law firms to pay these costs and that they do not intend to pursue these costs against Noah or his family. Walmart told us that the cost associated with the case is routine and there are rules in place to discourage future meritless lawsuits. You can see their full responses on WJLA.com. None of the other companies responded.